Tyler, the point guard position isn't for everyone. Why was it for you? Someone has to be a leader, someone has to, you know, have a voice uh, for the coach and for, for his teammates to the coach too. So, I mean, I feel like I've always, you know, been a natural leader and, you know, going back to high school, play point guard, everything like that. And, you know, last year I was more off the ball, but, you know, just trying to do whatever the team needs this year for, to help us win. Tyler Cullen. And as the levels have gone up in your career, that's that's a bigger adjustment. That's a lot more work at that position specifically. Yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted, a jump in levels. I mean, last year I was in the Atlantic 10, which is obviously a great league. Um, but, you know, this is the, the highest level of college basketball there is. I mean, the Big East is a storied and great conference, so I'm, I'm happy to be playing it. What has the process of building chemistry with your teammates been like, especially on the floor? I mean, to build it on the floor, you got to build it off the floor first. And I feel like we, we built great relationships from, you know, the first guy to the last guy. And, you know, there's no really, you know, separation there. It's all, you know, just brotherhood and bonding together. Now this team is a really unique blend of both youth with true freshmen and experience, especially with some of the transfers in. How does that affect the way that you play as somebody who sets the table and sets the tone? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in between that. I mean, I have a year of college basketball experience, whereas, you know, some of the younger guys don't see me quite as the older guy, but, you know, they still see me as one of the, you know, older players on the team, you know, more experienced guys than them because they haven't played. But, you know, just trying to bring everybody along and, you know, help the freshmen out. Because, I mean, being a freshman in college is hard. It's, it's a big adjustment from, you know, playing high school basketball because, you know, it's definitely not the same competition you're maybe playing. One, one or two college basketball players on every team in high school, and it's a big jump, but those guys have been doing a great job. That might be the group that Marquette fans are most excited about are the true freshmen. What have you seen from those guys that gives you a sense of how good they'll be in the future? I mean, there's a good blend of, you know, shot making, shot creating, size, length, you know, all those guys that have helped us greatly this year um, in spurts. I mean, last game they, they subbed us five in, five out for for all, all four of those guys in Oso. Um, so, I mean, it's been it's been good. They've given us a good jump. Last year, 31 minutes per game at George Mason. That is a lot to ask a true freshman. What did you gain from that experience that's helped you become a starter right away for a Big East team? Going into college, I, I wanted to, you know, obviously play the most that I could uh, at the highest level that I could. And, and, you know, that's what George Mason was, the highest level that I could go at that point. And, you know, Obviously, 31 minutes game, that's, that's a lot. Um, but, you know, I, I, it's, all, it's all about luck. I mean, first three games I wasn't starting. And then, um, you know, the opportunity presented itself. You know, it was, I was playing good and it, it, was, it went from there. And so, I mean, you, you just got to be ready for your opportunity. And, and that's what I did. I took my opportunity and ran with it. And, you know, I was only averaging maybe 19, 20 minutes a game in those first few games. And then after that, it bumped up, obviously. You've had some time to experience how basketball crazy this campus is and obviously the city as well. How has it lived up to your expectations? I didn't really realize it until the Illinois game. <laughs> Just a two-second difference where Colin comes in and steals it. He gets fouled. Count the basket. Marquette's in front. And so it, that was surreal. I mean, obviously, like I said before, the biggest crowd I've been in front of. Just walking around campus, you know, seeing the signs for the team, you know, the uh, schedules everywhere, actually in our dorm. On our elevators, they have, like, a, a picture of Justin and Stevie, and then they have our, our whole schedule. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's different. I mean. Everybody loves Marquette basketball. Take me back in your basketball career, and, and your father, Kevin, helped make you the player you are, as well as your brother, Brandon, who plays in college. What's been most special about his guidance? Yeah, I mean, I feel like he's just taught me the game of basketball, and really, you know, from playing with him growing up and everything like that, you, you kind of learn, you know. He wasn't in his prime when, when I was playing with him, obviously, but, I mean, he still plays today. but. You know, just playing two on two, three on three, those, those are when you really learn how to play the game of basketball, not really five on five, going up and down and stuff like that. So, I mean, just from a young age playing with him and, you know, my brother playing, I would always play, he's two years older than me, so I would always play up uh, with his age group. And so that really helps from a young age because you can really uh, advance quickly. Tyler, your ping pong skills are self-proclaimed as not just the best at Marquette, but the best in the Big East. How bad a beating have you put on some of your teammates? I probably, I think I beat Stevie, Cam, Omax. Actually, the one person that beat me was uh, Coach Barry. He got me, he, he's, he's really good. Um, 
but you know I, that claim was to the players not to uh, any of the coaches so but no I mean I, I enjoyed it I was actually in the ping pong club in high school so it was fun.